They called her One Eye. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my little review uh, slash comparison of the movie Thriller. Uh, I own both editions. I own the Yellow Edition, which is the Vengeance Edition, and I own the Limited Edition, which is which I also call called the Red Edition. Basically, this is an X-rated version. This is just the. Uh, it's not necessarily rated, but it's uh, it is cut. Um, basically, this film is about this girl who uh, she misses her bus and everything. This guy picks her up. He trusts her. He ends up going back to a place, and well, he ends up knocking her out, uh, and he ends up getting her addicted to uh, heroin. And from there, he basically uses her. Uh, she tries to fight back at one point, and um, he takes like a scalpel and stabs her in the eye with it. You know, even though it's a little more dramatic when uh, they actually show that. But um, after he after he does that, then she becomes pretty much one eye. You know, uh, which is actually kind of funny because if, if you actually think about it, one eye. You know, like how they call. Uh, like someone's uh, cock, they call it a Mr. One Eye or whatever. So it's kind of it's kind of a funny part that they call it that. But and it's the fact that she's a prostitute. Despite that, um, she comes with this prostitute and she's working for this guy because he's pretty much has her addicted. And the only way that she can really uh, you know get the stuff is through him. And uh, from there, at one point, she decides she wants. She starts stashing some money away, and she wants to uh, get back at him. She starts taking driving lessons, shooting lessons, uh, like martial art lessons, uh, doing all this kind of stuff to to be able to get back at these people. And at one point, she finally gets her revenge. Um, but now we'll get more into uh, tell you guys a little bit more about it. Now I'll get into more of what I think about it. Um, and I'll also talk about the difference between the two and, and my thoughts on that too. Um, basically, the movie's not that bad. It has a good, interesting story, good premise, um, not too bad of writing, uh, and it's pretty well played out, but at times it is a little bit slower. And when it comes down to like the actual uh, vengeance part, where she's like shooting these people and everything, the only thing that killed me about that was the slowness. It was like really slow. I mean, like extremely slow each one of those scenes, which I honestly I think that's what drew drew the movie out to be like. I think 104 minutes for this for the yellow edition, and it's 107 for this one. Um, honestly, the movie would have been a lot shorter if it would have just cut out it being so slow during like, the fighting, so during like the death scenes. But despite that, um, it's not that bad of a movie. Uh, m now difference between the two, of course a lot of you guys already know, have already seen this, know all this. In the Vengeance Edition, it has the, uh, the, like, you see, like, the scene where he's, like, gonna put it, like, the scalp onto her eye, but in, you don't see it all the way, like, and in, like, the, uh, Limited Edition one, which is, like, played on a rated cut of the film, uh, you see it go all the way in, and supposedly they used a, uh, real, uh, it's a cadaver's, like, face. Well, of course, it shows like some of my face, but they used a real eyeball for that part. But, um, despite that, and then as that part added into the uh, limited edition, and that's not in the uh, Vengeance edition, um, and then like the hardcore sex scenes are put into this one. Alright, but here's the thing. I honestly, a lot of people wouldn't agree with me fully on this, but I honestly agree. I actually think that the Vengeance edition was a lot better. It's it's a lot smoother of like a story, and it really just flows a little bit better because when you put the graphic sex scenes in this one, I'm not, and like here's the thing: sex and horror films fine, nudity and horror films fine, but for the type of film this is and the odd placement of the sex scenes just didn't work. And really, they weren't even all that great at sex scenes. They were just really uncalled for and just just stupid. I think that was probably one of their selling points of the movie. That that's the reason why they had him in there, because they knew it was like, ooh, uh, we get like a revenge type film. 
but we get it with some sex in there, you know, or something like that. But honestly, it takes away from the film. I, th I found watching through this one, it was a lot more enjoyable. Watching through this one, when you get those sex scenes, it just kills the film. I mean, you're really trying to follow this girl. And really, I, honestly, at times, you think you want to sympathize for her, but you really, honestly, I didn't really sympathize for her that much in ways. In ways I did, in ways I didn't, you know. I did I did a little bit more after I had, had so a lot more than I did not sympathize for her. But other than that, um, you know, that's really two, the two differences, you know. Honestly, you can get this one a lot cheaper. This one's cool to have. If, if, if you're a collector, like if, like me, you, you may want to pick this one up also. But honestly, this color of film is way better, honestly. Like, I don't want to have to take and watch this and fast forward through sex scenes and everything. You know, just to keep, up, just to keep the story flowing. Well, but, um... Overall, it's not that bad of a film. Uh, it's pretty good, actually. I, I, I didn't... I started to watch it before because I had a copy on my computer and everything. I started watching it and I wasn't really into it. And... I finally just decided, well, fuck it, I'm just going to buy it. I got this one for like $3 off of eBay. So I got it, watched it, really en like enjoyed it. So I decided, well, you know what, if I have this one, I might as well buy this edition of this. And I got this for like 13 bucks, which is a pretty damn good deal. Um, but overall, yeah, not bad of a film. Definitely check it out. It does have a pretty good cult status to it. Um, if you like just vengeance films, like... Uh, I say more like the Kill Bill type ones because that's what influenced uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino on uh, uh, this film. Influenced like some of the stuff on Kill Bill. But honestly, uh, if you really, really want a damn good vengeance film, like a revenge film, uh, stick with Death Wish. Honestly, Death Wish is one of the best ones ever made. Um, I would stick more with that. But this is it's well worth checking out. Um, but if you're a big time collector, just get both. Might as well. It's it, especially if you're just if you want it just for the collection. All right, you guys. Uh, that's my little review slash comparison of uh, these two DVDs. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, come back for more. I'll have plenty more vids coming up, guys. All right, bye.